All right, so you want to play DCS. And because you saw the Blue Angels, or you're like me, you're from Canada and grew up watching the F-18 fly over the sky, you decide to purchase it and you want to fly super carriers and do air to air, air to ground, and you're slowly learning things one video at a time or one manual at a time or one mission at a time. And finally you decide to tackle the campaigns and do a structured mission. And so this video is basically a perfect encapsulation of what the solo experience is in DCS. Uh, as I've discovered, I flew campaign for this campaign for the first time, uh, not really knowing what to expect. I've flown a few missions if you've followed the channel so far, and if you haven't, please subscribe. But um, it's, it's really a different experience. You don't know what to expect. There's so many different uh, layers to this campaign. Uh, and it's quite frankly chaotic and especially when it comes to air to air what I find a lot of uh, videos on YouTube or even just some simpler missions kind of deceive you is that it's really just one group versus the other where in reality in a battlefield there's just there's units everywhere there's you know, there might be in this you know because in this mission for example there's F-14s that we won't see but they fly uh, seed to suppress enemy air defenses and we're flying uh, cap and so we're looking for enemy air patrols that we're gonna that we're gonna take out so there's definitely different layers you have to track multiple bogeys in the air now, not all of them are bandits and you need to filter through that information think quickly on your feet and, and just kill or be killed storyline for this campaign is we've been called upon to support the Republic of Georgia versus a Soviet attack. There'll be different missions where we support them in different ways. Today, our carrier ship's under attack, so we need to buy CAP, Combat Air Patrol, to neutralize any targets aiming for our ship. So, I hope, hope you guys liked the video. It's a bit chaotic, and, and I didn't even know what to expect. Uh, this was my first time flying a uh, campaign. This is the campaign you get when you purchase the F-18 from DCS. I uh, hope you guys liked the video. Hit that like button and subscribe. And uh, this is part one. I'll keep flying the campaign as we go. And I, I hope you guys enjoy the series. All right. So let's get all ready to go. Damn, I can't see anything there. All right. Let's just do our waypoint sequence. Select at least one. Snap at 16 is fine. I already checked our weight. Good. Good, good. All right. You ready to do it? I mean, we're not even in the air, man. Turn data link on, data link on. Let's just see where everyone is. There's some straight ahead. We just switch to our Fox 1s, Master Arm switch on. See? What do we see? At least, looks like four bogeys. Four bogeys out in the distance. All around 6,000. Is that what I saw there? I don't mind an altitude advantage. Okay, we locked him up. 40 miles out. Not lost luck. Flying so low, that's gonna be hard to. Contact bearing 093, 
We get travel distance, so we're gonna keep climbing here. Ever so slightly as we come in closer. Alright, we're starting to get real close. Pick this up. Box one. Gonna flare. Box three. Box two, box two. Not flaring, so splash one. Okay, let's bring this in. We're just cruising. We have to take them out with guns. Oh, this is the squad that's going after our carrier. They don't have missiles to take us out. They're just they're being escorted by the guys we just shot down. I get it. Okay, let's take them out with guns. There's another one. Is he actually going to make it? No way this guy's surviving that much, is he? Take another chunk out of them. Still very airborne.
There go the doors. Hey, come on, let's go. Okay, what are we looking at from the RWR? I need to gain altitude, I think. Can we talk to AWACS? Seven? No. Group at 45 miles out at 30,000. Looks like we took everybody out in our area, which is good. Question is yeah, we got someone there, it's hostile, and this doesn't seem too far. Now we're just shot. I can't tell if we got him, but I don't see anything on radar, but we, uh... Really got away, so let's start heading back, so we're getting too close to enemy territory over there. I don't know if we got him or not. Look at a splash there. Got an enemy? Nothing on RWR. Altitude. What's that though? Altitude. Is that someone on our wingman's tail? The MiG-29 back there. I don't know what he was doing, if he was following our wingman or not. A little hard. I don't see him on data link is the issue. because that wasn't data link, like an idiot. I think we may have taken care of everybody that was threatening our ship. Marshall, 303. Marking Mops, 055. Angels, 22.5. State, 1.1. <laughs> State, 1.1? What do you mean? <laughs> yeah. I may end up turning around and going home because he can't take out our ship. He was just fit for air to air and it was a 2v1 with my wingman, so he wasn't a fight he was going to entertain. Just broke it out. Alright, we'll see them at 10. Notch of flaps. Hook down. We're on idle. Get ready for our descent. We're going to turn in. Like a notch of flaps.
You're down. We're gonna follow the sky. There's the E bracket. I know we're correcting. Honestly, not bad. I thought it was pretty good. One of my better uh, carrier landings, if I'm being honest. Alright, hook up. Let's go uh, taxi off. Didn't say anything about mission success or anything. I'm not sure. Alright, I'm not really sure what this all means because this was my first campaign flight. It does show here that uh, alert 5 was a success, score 100, I'm not sure out of what. But, uh, hey, apparently that was good, and now the next one will be close air support. So make sure you stick around, and uh, subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. Hope you guys liked the video, and thanks a lot. See you guys on the next flight. We did it, Joe.